Angsha Mudde Gaudru. Barton House, Captain of the House, Arena Arbain. Vice Captain of the House, Telisya A. Prefects of Barton House, Sudeshna Ramesh, Tia Matika Satyamitra, Shreya Anil Kumar, Johalen Esther. Elms House, Captain of the House, Nidhi Malayan. Vice Captain of the House, Joanna Holiday. Prefix of Elms House, Ariba Hussain, Rafa Siddiq, Chanel Hope Anand, Ritika Mahesh. Foley House, Captain of the House, Manya Chaturvedi. Vice Captain of the House, Aditi Ashwi. Prefix of Foley House, R. Disha Ankarya, Dubia Mack, Avril Eliza Tobin, Chanel Amber De Silva. Maiden House, Captain of the House, J. Jessica Linnet. Vice Captain of the House, Shivangi Guha. Prefix of the House, Rukhaya Mahin, Shreya Vinod Kriplani, Nikaya G. Basavaraj, Alicia Iqbal. Millington House, Captain of the House, Ishika Hiridar. Vice Captain of the House, Sarah Joseph. Prefects of the House, Akanksha Anildat, Varnita Apaya, Akshata Rosaria, Amiya Ramachandri. Waller House, Captain of the House, S. Vrinda, Vice Captain of the House, M. Benita, Prefects of Waller House, Shada Prasad, Sanvi Sharan, Swati Krishnan, Jessia Susan John. Standard 12 Arts Class Teacher Mrs. Mary Deepa Patrick A.V. Vinnie Catherine Aditri Raghunath Aditi Parthasaradi Afra Fatima Ananya Rachel Gregory Ankita Nandakumar Anshu Vijayan Arshia Rida H Aviva Joy Christopher Bargavi S Debrina Jazz Tennyson Dia Joby Isha A Fatin Kashifa Gia Salaria Gladys Jebba Gracelyn S Halima Rabia Janvi Nagpal Kashish D. Maniad Kerali Dharani Reddy Kachukma Deburma Kushi Sn Kwaish Sharma Mahima Sharma Manushri Balakrishnan Mehek Fulara Mehroon Shafi Nana Ravi Natalia Nirmal Kumar Neha Elizabeth K Nidhi Malayal PV Pranati Pranati Vijay Rachita Gauda J Richa Joanita Das Riza Roshik Sanvi S Sanvi Sharan 
समानता स्मृति आर सैरा डरेन सरस्वती राम बहादुर श्रद्धा प्रसाद श्रिया एस श्रेया विनोद कृपलानी सिमोन सिंह चावला स्नेहा राउत सुमाया खुसरो ट्रीजा लामा टिया मातिका सत्यमित्र याशना सिसिलिया हंसद स्टैंडर्ड ट्वेल्व कॉमर्स क्लास टीचर मिसिस शीबा जॉन अफिया अधम नवाज खान आयशा नाज एंजल एम अंकिता सुरक्षा अंशु प्रिया परचूरी अनुराधा केबी एवरल प्रिया रंजनी आयत अनवर शेख आयशा सादिक वेनिता एसुदास सी शालिनी क्रिस्टीना वी सैम्यूल दिव्या बिनल जी सलीना मेबल जेनिफर सी जेनिफर सी जेसिका लिनेट जोएना अनिशा जे के एम हर्षिता कैरन आर खुशी जेन लीशा आर पी लिया पॉल एम वर्षा रूनवाल माहिका बनवानी नंदिनी आर निदा हुसैन दानियाल निधि गजेंद्रन आर दिशा कनकारिया आर नव्या शायरोमी रेचल माइलन ए रफा सिद्दिक रिदा हैना रिया कुमारी रिजल्टा अरुल राजेश रुबिया मैक एस वृंदा सारा फातिमा सारा सुगंधी थॉमस शांबवी कृष्णा शिरीशा सी स्मृति एम सी श्री नेहा एस कोडे श्रिया ए सुमकू तलत फातिमा वर्णिता अपया स्टैंडर्ड ट्वेल्व साइंस क्लास टीचर मिसिस दीना प्रियदर्शनी आकांक्षा ए दत्त अडालिया जमेर नीति आदिति आर अफसा एस अरिबा हुरेन हुसैन अरीना अरबेन आशिका विजय कुमार आयरा हुसैन 
ബി ആർ ഐശ്വര്യ ദേവകി പ്രസാദ് ദിയ ഡേവിഡ് ഈദത് മെറിയം ഇലേൻ മേരി അലക്സ് ഫാത്തിമ കാർട്ടൂൺ ഹൃദാന്യ ഹർഷ ഈഷ നായർ ഇഷിക ഗിരിധർ ജെ ജനീറ്റ സുഗന്ധി ജെ പ്രിൻസി ഷാരൻ ജാസ്ലിൻ ഇമാനുവൽ ജെസിക്ക അരുൺ ജോസ്റ്റൻ ദീക്ഷിത എം കോമൽ ഹർഷിത മാന്യ ചതുർവേദി മനോജ്ഞ ലോകേഷ് നയോമി ബെഞ്ചമിൻ നന്ദന കിഷോർ സി നായർ നേഹ കുജരി നിയ മിസെ നിരഞ്ജന വിജലപൂർ ഒലിവ്യ സാം ആർ ദിയ കൃഷ്ണ റേച്ചൽ സമാന്ത ആൻഡ്രൂസ് റീന ജോയ് ആർ റേയ മധുക്കർ റുഖായ റുഖായ മാറീൻ എസ് ആർ ഹേമ പ്രകാശ് എസ് രക്ഷിത നായിഡു സമീക്ഷ സന്തോഷ് സേവന്തി ശേഖർ ഷാനാ സിംഗ് ചനായ ഗ്രേസ് ശിരോമണി ശ്രീയ ദി സിദ്ധ്യ ജയറാം ശ്രീയ മിശ്ര സ്റ്റെഫി ആഡ്ലിൻ സുദേഷ്ണ രമേശ് വിദർശ ജി വിദ്യശ്രീ എച്ച് ജിലേൻ യാങ്ചേൻ ഹർഷ് സ്റ്റാൻഡേർഡ് ടെൻ എ ക്ലാസ് ടീച്ചർ മിസ്സിസ് ക്രിസ്റ്റീന പീറ്റർ അക്കാംക്ഷ മുദേ ഗൗദ്രു ഐശ്വര്യ മോഹൻ കുമാർ അക്ഷിത റവസാര്യ അലീസ സെയിൻ ആഞ്ജലിന മറിയ എ അനുഷ്ക ഗഞ്ജു ആഷ്ലി സാധന പി ആവ്രിൽ എൽസ തോബിൻ ഐലിൻ നിസ്യ പി ബതുൽ വൈ ഊഞ്ചാവാല ഭാവന ആർ ദീനാശ്രീ ഹെച്ച് ജി ആർ നയന റെഡി ജി വി ത്രിഷ ജെ സെൽഫസ്റ്റ ജബലിൻ ജെറുഷ മാധവരം ജോൻ ഷിമോൻ പീറ്റർ കാലമന്ദ കാശ്വി കാര്യപ്പ കാമിനി എൽഷബ വിശ്വകർമ്മ കെരൻ സോഫിയ ലിവ ഫാത്തിമ എം ബെനിറ്റ മിഷൽ എം കീർത്തന മാനസ വിജയ് നിഖായ ജി ബസവരാജ് നിധി ശ്രീ എസ് നിസർഗ വി നിഷ എസ് പാലക് കെ ജെയിൻ പ്രിയങ്ക വിജയ സുന്ദർ ആർ ഇവാഞ്ചലിൻ ആർ 
சயத்தீ ராஹிமா அக்தர் ரியா பியன்கா எஸ்லி ரிதா பாத்திமா எஸ் அபிகேல் கேத்தரின் லாரா சாதிகா காட்டூன் சாஷா எம் ஷனல் ஹோப் ஆனந்த் ஷர்லின் ஜியான் பிரகாஷம் ஜி ஸ்ரேயா அனில்குமார் சிம்ரித் டேனிலா சஞ்சய் தனிஷா பாத்திமா ரிஷிதா யோகானந்த் யஷஸ்வினி உமேஷ் யுக்தா வி ஜாரா பாத்திமா சிஏ அண்ட் ஜுரீன் பாத்திமா கான் class 10b class teacher mrs selvi robin a kavishri aishwarya j nayar akshara yate alaina samir and gracia s Bahia Hamad K Bonita L C Grace Angelina Dia S Thomas E Christine Juanita Inia SS Evelyn Senorita Dharmaraj Fatima Nashra Mekhi Felicia A G Harshita Gauri Ritika Mahesh J Riona Elizabeth Aradhana Janavi Nayak Jia Janet Jia K Azolia Johanna Babu Juhena Afis Kanisha M Khadija Usman Khan Lakshya Sudarshan Mritika VS Naisha Mehra Naomi Parimala Segajanandam Nikita B Nikita Vikram Nilasha B Pragati Dhanur Pranita Arul Pranjal Jain Roshni Susan எஸ் சோபனா சம்ஹிதா கணேஷ் ஷகுன் குப்தா சிவ்பிரியா ஜி கே தனிஷ்கா சாஹா தனிஷ்தா அஞ்சன் தாரிணி எம் அண்ட் ஜாஷா யங்சன் ஹர்ஷ் standard 10c class teacher mrs flora priyadarshini aditi ashwin amina rahan ankita kiran kumar aishi s bavika bayapati bhavana sunithalli chandana a devyani jaiswal dia p Hana Ghaznafa Khan, Ikra Zainab, J. Abigail, J. Jamima Disha, Kulsum Khan, M. D. Vashi Vanessa, M. Pratiksha, Michelle Christopher, N. D. Kaniha, Natasha Ladani, Nia Ann Philip, பிரார்த்தனா ஆச்சாரியா வி 
ரீட்டா ஒய் ரிதி புலேச்சா எஸ் ஜே ஃபெனசியா ஜேன் எஸ் கிருத்தி எஸ் என் தோஷ்னி எஸ் பூர்வி சபா எலியாஸ் சாண்டினா ஜெனி ஆத்தர் சாரா மிசி பந்து சைதா ஐமன் ஷானல் ஆம்ப டிசில்வா ஷாரன் ஷ்ரேயா பி ஐஸ்வர்யா ஸ்ருதி தீபக் ஸ்னேகா ஸ்ரீனிவாஸ் ஸ்ரீ மேதா தட்டிகொல்லா சுஹேரா கான் ஸ்வெட்லானா மோசஸ் தமன்னா தத்தா தனிஷ்கா சி தன்மயா பிரசாத் சுபா முனீர் வி குஷி வி பிரதிஷா வெனேசா சில்வியா விவியா ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் டென் டி கிளாஸ் டீச்சர் மிஸ்இஸ் கேத்லீன் பிரியா ஜேபஸ் ஏ எல் ஷராய் ஆர்லி ஆத்விகா எல் கவுடா அபிலியா சித்ரா ஐஷானி பச்சன் அலங்கியா ராமச்சந்திரன் அமியா ராமச்சந்திரன் அங்கிதா ரஷ்மி பாபு அன்விதா பி ஆர் அஸ்வதி விஜய் தீப்ஷிகா சலாரியா ஜெசியா மேலின் டி குஷி சாரா சந்தோஷ் கிம் லொரேன் ஒய் லக்ஷிதா கே சோப்டா லியான் நேஹா எபினேசா லிடியா ஜோனா டபிள்யூ மதுரா சசிதா மான்யா எஸ் ஆகாஷ் மான்யா ஸ்ரீவத்சவா மான்யா சுந்தர் மேகன் சாரா பால் நேத்ரா சுஹானா பென்மச்சா மியா ரேச்சல் ஈபன் பிரீத்தி ரெனே கிரெகரி பிரீத்தி ஹெபா ஆர் லக்ஷிதா ராஜு ஆர் நவ்யா ருமானா ஷேக் எஸ் டியா பால் எஸ் சமந்தா சாண்ட்ரா சஃபா குல்சம் சாஹஸ்ரா கொக்னூர் சமன் ஃபாத்திமா செரின் ஈவா நவீன் ஷ்ரயா பிரதாப் சித்தி ஜெயின் சுஹானி பி சுசானா பிரதீப் த்ரிஷா ஒலிவியா வின்சென்ட் வெனிசா கிறிஸ்டபல் நிக்கலஸ் வினோலியா கிளமென்சி ஏ வைஷ்ணவி எஸ் சௌஹான் வலூஷியா பிஜு அண்ட் யஷ்மிதா சுதீர் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் டென் இ கிளாஸ் டீச்சர் மிஸ்இஸ் நான்சி பிரியதர்ஷினி அலிஷா ஒபேட் சர்னா Anya Obed Sarna Arna Rajesh Gupta Abigail Adya Jaramaya Alicia Iqbal Ambika V Talrija Amrita P V Anuhiya R Joanna Aiman Fatima Aira Anam Dara S Divya Ramanan Gauravi Kumari Tomar Hafsa Fatima Akram Hana Damudi Harita S Humaira Fatima J Alisha Fedora Wesley Janavi Arun Janice Jeffrey Jessia Susan John Joanne Lynn Esther A Emmen Suhasini Mehak N Shah Michelle Andrea Hudson Nida Ryan Natasha Rajan 
नित्या एस एच निवेदिता जी पी नितिका रिया रेचल मोजिस एस एल साहित्य एस शरण्या सफा शरीफ समीक्षा नायक सना हुसैन संजना एस सारा जोसेफ सैरा मधुसूदन शाजनीन फातिमा श्रेया भरत श्रेया सुब्रमण्यन सिद्रा नुरियन टी लक्ष्मीश्री गोरपडे तनिषा सत्यमूर्ति वी एम प्रणीता वृद्धि टी ओरा स्टैंडर्ड टेन एफ क्लास टीचर मिसिज रोसी वेस्ली आमिना अराम आमिना ऐसर शिली अलीना अंचिता हरिट चार्ल्स एंड्रिया ग्रेसलन डब्ल्यू अनिका विन रॉबर्ट अनीशा मुकल्ला एनी क्रिस्लन बेनिस्टन एश्ले जेन एच भूमिका वेणु कंगीरा हल्डा शैरन प्रिंसेस एस इक्ता एम इमान हनीफ चे प्रिंसी शरूपा जेनिलिया बी जोना हॉलिडे कश्मीर सद्दा काव्या जोसेफ कीर्तना बी कृति सेगल लियाना करिस डी एम निकिता मैडलन डैफनी मार्टिन मानिशा यादव मेरिनमय गायताय नेहरू मेरिल एस्तर स्वीटी नशीता आयशा नव्या एस आर पी निकिता प्रणती एन आर अक्षय श्री आर मैगलिन रायना आर प्रीता डॉली राही नायक आर रचिता जे यस अमरीन प्रतिमा यस कतीजा तुलकुब्रा यस मोहना रसी एस वैशाली शिवांगी गुहा स्वाति कृष्णन सयदा सारा जिलानी तनिषा सी ए एंड यानवी सिंह girls please be seated
the valedictory ceremony of the Bishop Cotton Girls School for the graduating batch of 2022-23. Let us stand as our principal, bishop, chief guest, and dignitaries walk in. They are escorted by our guide girls and welcomed by the school band. This class of 2023 20, consists of students from both standard 10 and 12. Just as students of standard 10 stand here for the very first time, this year standard 12 to experience their first ever valedictory ceremony, which they missed two years ago due to the pandemic. We sure are ever grateful to the Almighty for His great mercies as we see our beautiful young girls stand here in front of us. I request everyone to kindly remain standing as the school song is sung. Kindly be seated. True prayer is neither a mere mental exercise 
nor a vocal performance. It is far deeper than that. It is a spiritual transaction with the creator of heaven and earth. We now have the invocation song titled More Power to You, sung to us by standard 10 and 12 choir students. Thank you girls for that soulful rendition prayer 
lays hold of God's plan and becomes the link between his will and its accomplishment on earth. To bless this proceeding, I invite Reverend Dr. Vincent Vinod Kumar, Diocesan Secretary, Vice Chairman, Board of Management, and Presbyter in charge of St. Mark's Cathedral to offer the opening prayer. I request the gathering to kindly stand. Shall we look to God in prayer? Gracious God, the source of wisdom and knowledge, with hearts full of gratitude, praise and adoration, we come before thy throne of grace to thank you for the graduating class of 2023. We thank you for giving your daughters an opportunity through Bishop Cotton Girls School to enjoy new experiences, discover new truths, and develop new powers of body, mind, and spirit. We are grateful to you for enabling them to acquire wisdom and knowledge and be strong in spirit and for preparing them to equip themselves to serve their generation we express our gratitude to you for the trend-setting leadership of our beloved Chairman, Bishop Right Reverend Dr. Prasanna Kumar Samuel, Principal Dr. Lavanya Mitran, members of the Board of Management, officers of the Diocese, members of the Diocesan Ex Executive Committee, members of the Education Committee, faculty, staff, parents, caregivers, family and friends who have encouraged and supported these, your daughters, to pursue excellence. We invoke your blessings upon the graduation ceremony. Bestow your special blessings on each one of us, very especially on our chief guest, Surgeon Rear Admiral Nirmala Kannan and the presiding dignitary, Bishop, Right Reverend Dr. Prasanna Kumar Samuel, use your servants as your channels of blessing to inspire, motivate, and encourage the graduating class. Make our time enriching, edifying, and enlightening. We ask these blessings in the blessed name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Please be seated. May I now request our beloved principal, Dr. Mrs. Lavanya Mitran, to welcome the gathering and introduce our esteemed chief guest. A very good evening to our bishop and chairman, Right Reverend Dr. P.K. Samuel, our chief guest, Surgeon Rear Admiral Nirmala Khanan, Professor Mrs. Esther Samuel, officers of the diocese, members of the executive and education committees, members of the board of management, former principals and principals of other KCD institutions, parents, old Catonians, well-wishers and dear students of the graduating class of 2023, a warm welcome to the graduation ceremony of the class of 2023. We acknowledge with utmost gratitude the revered presence of our bishop and chairman, Right Reverend Dr. P.K. Samuel, 
the bishop is the spiritual head of the Karnataka Central Diocese of the Church of South India and the chairman of around 23 institutions that are managed by the diocese. Bishop, it's my honor and privilege to welcome you for this graduation ceremony. And I thank you for your dedicated and unswerving commitment in the field of education. May I request the treasurer of the Board of Management, Mr. Vinod Dasan, to honor our bishop. Thank you, Mr. Vinod Dasan. I'm delighted to introduce you to our chief guest for today, one of our very own Surgeon Rear Admiral Nirmala Khanan, NM, VSM, retired. And I would like to add that she epitomes the theme for today. Born in Bangalore, into an army family, Rear Admiral Nirmala Khanan did her schooling at Pune, Lucknow, and Kunur before passing the standard 10 from Bishop Cotton Girls School in 1967. Following the transfer of her father to Aurangabad in Maharashtra, Mrs. Nirmala did her MBBS from the Government Medical College and after internship, joined the Indian Navy in 1977. Though she completed her post-graduation in obstetrics and gynecology from Mumbai University, her interest in hospital administration and health management made her switch her path very early in naval career. In 1992, when the government of India commended the intake of women officers into non-medical branches of the three services. She was chosen to mentor the very first batch in the Indian Navy and was subsequently bestowed the Presidential Award of Vishishta Seva Medal on 26th January 1993. The second presidential award of Nausena Medal was con conferred on her in 2012 for distinguished service. Thank you, ma'am, for spontaneously accepting our invitation and gracing the occasion. May I now call upon the vice principal, Mrs. Annie Margaret, to honor our chief guest. Thank you, ma'am. We also acknowledge the esteemed presence of Vice Admiral Khanan. Thank you, sir, for gracing this occasion.
also value the presence of Professor Mrs. Esther Samuel, President of CSI Synod, Women's Fellowship, and Karnataka Central Diocese Women's Fellowship. And thank you for being with us at this significant program. We welcome you, ma'am. I now call upon Mrs. Preeti Subhash, a staff member, to honor our Professor Mrs. Esther Samuel. Our sincere gratitude also goes out to Reverend Dr. Vincent Vinod Kumar, Secretary of the Karnataka Central Diocese, Vice Chairman of the Board of Management, and Presbyter in Charge, St. Mark's Cathedral. Thank you, Pastor, for invoking God's presence, and we warmly welcome you. I extend a warm welcome and acknowledge the presence of the offices of the Karnataka Central Diocese. We have with us Dr. N.D. Solomon Raju, treasurer of the CSI Karnataka Central Diocese and member of the Board of Management. We welcome you, sir. We have with us Reverend Christopher Samuel, Assistant Secretary of the CSI Karnataka Central Diocese. We welcome you, Pastor. We have with us Reverend D. George Jaya Prabhu, Associate Treasurer of the CSI Karnataka Central Diocese. Pastor, we welcome you. I recognize the presence of the members of the Board of Management of our school for the triennium 2021-2024 and gratefully acknowledge their immense contribution in varied ways. We have with us Mr. Vinod Dasan, Treasurer, Board of Management. Reverend Y. Justin, Civil Area Chairman and Member of the Board of Management. We have with us Mr. George Mohan, Member of the Board of Management. Mr. Devdas Sadhu, member of the Board of Management. And as you speak, 
Mrs. Aishwarya Anil, member of the Board of Management. Thank you, teachers. Members of the Executive Committee of CSI Karnataka Central Diocese, we thank you for being a part of this program. May I request you to kindly rise so that our staff can honor you. It's a humble request, please. Thank you, teachers. Thank you, dear members of the Executive Committee, for your presence. I am deeply grateful to the Education Committee of the Karnataka Central Diocese. May I request you to kindly rise so that our staff can honor you. We have with us heads of other KCD institutions whose presence is warmly acknowledged. We welcome you all for this graduation ceremony. May I request you to kindly rise in your places so that our staff can honor you. Heads of institutions of our KCD institutions, kindly rise so that our staff can honor you, please. Thank you, teachers. The Old Catonians Association continue to remain an integral part of the school. We appreciate their continued association with their alma mater and thank them for the many ways in which they reach out to assist. We wish to acknowledge the presence of Mrs. Nirja, the president of the Old Girls Association. I acknowledge the presence of the Old Boys Association. May I request you to stand so that our staff can honor you. Thank you. I thank you, dear parents, for the faith reposed in us and for the privilege of grooming little girls into strong, graceful women of substance. We acknowledge your sacrifice and hope the girls will never forget 
your immense contribution in their lives. My dear graduating students of class 10 and 12, I would like to recall what the late founder of Apple Electronics, Steve Jobs, in his famous address at Harvard once said, and I quote, your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Don't be trapped by dogma, which is living with the results of other people's thinking. Don't let the noise of others' opinions drown out your own inner voice. And most importantly, have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. They somehow already know what you truly want to become. Everything else is secondary." Unquote. A graduation ceremony is incomplete without the courts of great men and women who have inspired generations of youngsters by their words and by their lives. My next quote by Michael Dell is self-explanatory. It's time for you to move on to what's next, but you must not let anything deter you from taking those first steps. Don't spend too much time trying to choose the perfect path and the perfect opportunity that you might miss the right opportunity. Recognize that there will be failures and acknowledge that there will be obstacles, but you must learn from your mistakes and the mistakes of others. I also urge you to take a moment and ponder on these lines. As pomp and circumstance serenades you down the aisle, take a moment to contemplate how you arrived at this moment. Remember the help your parents gave and the sacrifices they made. Spare a thought of gratitude for the teachers who were willing to explain things one more time. They have shaped you who you are today. Be thankful for the friendships you have made, the life lessons you have learned, and all the experiences you had, the good as well as the bad. As the strains of pomp and circumstance guide you down the aisle towards that stage, realize you are not just heading towards your high school graduation, you are stepping into your new future. I take this opportunity to wish each one of you the very best as you step up of these portals and courageously face the unknown. I also hope that one day, like our chief guest today, you'll return to your alma mater. Celebrate your success at Cotton's and bask in the pride we all feel for you today. May God bless you. Last but not the least, I thank my team of ICSC and ISC teachers who have prepared this batch to face their board exams. I am sure, teachers, you have trained the girls to be strong, graceful women of substance. I once again welcome each and every one of you present here for the graduation ceremony of the batch of 2023. Thank you. Next dextrotsum. Next sinistrotsum. Thank you, ma'am, for beautifully welcoming and addressing the gathering. Pablo Casal, fa a famous Spanish and Puerto Rican musician, once quoted, Music is the divine way to tell beautiful, poetic things to the heart. We now have the outgoing class 10 choir girls sing to us a number titled, I'll Always Remember.
I'm sure you will move on and fulfill all your hopes. Thank you, dear girls, for that melodious rendition. The greatest privilege of a leader is to elevate lives. She is thoughtful, hardworking, one who always strives for perfection in all that she does. And more than that, someone extremely passionate. She is none other than our school captain, Nandana. I request Nandana Kishore C. Nair to deliver her speech on this momentous occasion. Thank you so much, ma'am, for your kind words. Good evening and a warm welcome to everyone present here. Respected principal, Dr. Mrs. Lavanya Mitrin, our chief guest, Surgeon Rear Admiral Nirmala Kannan, Right Reverend Dr. P.K. Samuel, Bishop, CSI Karnataka Central Diocese, members of the Board of Management, other dignitaries, Vice Principal, Mrs. Annie Margaret, beloved parents,
teachers, and my fellow graduates. This would perhaps be the last time I hold this podium as captain, and I would like to thank our principal for giving me this opportunity to speak on behalf of the graduating class of 2023 before all those who have made it possible. Bishop Cotton Girls School has and will forever remain a place we call home. Every stone and every brick on the wall has its own story to tell. Being the 157th graduating batch of this institution, we have our alumni to look up to, and we are blessed to have one such inspiring personality amidst us here today. Thank you so much, ma'am, for spending your valuable time with us. Graduation. Well, it feels like yesterday when we came in, clinging on to our parents' hands and weeping. And now, here we stand at the brink of a new beginning. One that fills us with excitement and at the same time makes us anxious. But our school has prepared us to face the world outside. We have been equipped with the right education and the right attitude that we need to conquer the challenges that this world has to offer. We are indeed going to step out of our comfort zone, but this institution has molded us into the women this world needs. Strong, confident young women who are compassionate, humble, and sensitive to the world around them. We are blessed with plenty of opportunities that lie ahead of us. We will pursue excellence in all that we choose to do while consciously contributing to the progress of the society. We will never be afraid to voice our opinions and never shy away from that path that we wish to take. The courage and confidence that our teachers have filled us with will help us brace the uncertainty with the assurance that we have all that we need. The team spirit, the energy, and the relationships that we have built within these walls will always find us when we need them. Let's now take a stroll down memory lane. I've tried my very best to keep this as short as possible. Remember kindergarten? White and green checkered uniforms. Classrooms so vibrantly and beautifully painted that it helped us travel to our own world. Black, blue, and green stickered notebooks, the playpen, the giraffe slide, the merry-go-round, and the huge tic-tac-toe. Sports days and rhyme times, it indeed was a period of royalty. Next up, junior school, things getting a little more academic. The pinafore, a very ceremonious sorting into the six houses of cotton girls the pens, block, and examinations. A whole new concept. 25 and 50 markers, by the way. Not to forget the junior school library, computer lab, our science park with restricted entry, singing lessons and poetry classes, and oh, an honorary mention to our Olympiads. And then, with a few steps, we walked into the GUPO block. We graduated from pencils to pens. Wednesday house assemblies and lunchtime catch-ups with our friends under the beautiful banyan tree. Time simply flew. The textbooks were getting thicker, the fonts of which were growing smaller. The yellow and green striped tie and belt, projects and record files, we got very little of that senior quad. Senior school really roused our loyalty towards our houses. Sports days and all other inter-house events were treated with a lot more excitement, vigor, and deadly competitiveness. But none of this stopped us from screaming, let's go, Cottons, let's go, at the much-awaited Cotonian Shield. Now, this year's graduating class of 12 did not write their class 10 board examinations, nor did class 10 experience more than one real high school year. We owe it all to the pandemic that took away two whole years of our lives. Those two years really changed a lot of things for us. We saw life from a different perspective, one that was full of uncertainty of what was to come, one that humbled us and reminded us how grateful we should be for everything. 
but we were so blessed to come back to spend our final year of school in school, in this beautiful campus that has made us who we are today. When we came back, knowing that this was our final year at Cotton's, we planned to enjoy it in every possible manner. But we were soon hit by that realization that we were the senior most batch, and it was up to us to carry forward the rich traditions of this school. We needed to make sure that our school flag was held high and pass on the values and learnings that we inherited from our seniors to our juniors. And I think we've done a pretty good job. To believe in the Lord Almighty has been the first lesson that we have learned. We've been blessed beyond measure to make it until here today, and we owe it all to our loving God. As we celebrate this momentous occasion, we celebrate our wonderful parents and grandparents who have very patiently endured all those tantrums that we have thrown right from our birth to this moment. Thank you for being our sources of endless support, encouragement, and guidance for being our life support systems. To our dearest teachers, words will not suffice to express our immense gratitude for every little thing that you do for us. From making our little paper crowns back in the kindergarten, every minute of every day spent with you is truly special. We will forever remember each one of you for your beautiful smile, for every little story that you've shared in class, and for all those times that you have teased us. To the non-teaching, maintenance, and administrative staff, we thank you for doing everything that you can to make our lives easy. We are forever indebted to our sweet lab attendants, IMRs, and maintenance uncles who have just been a call away when we needed them. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts. And my fellow Catonians, students of classes 10 and 12, congratulations. You truly deserve this day. Let's take a moment to be proud of ourselves and our journey so far. In about a few hours, we will walk out of this place that we call home this place that has made us who we are today. We walked in as tiny little girls, and we will walk out as strong, graceful women of substance. It's going to take hard work because we have big dreams. But let me leave you with this. Never give up. Never settle for anything less than that for which you have aimed. And always remember that Everything that you will ever need is right within you. I wish you the very best for all that is to come, and I hope that you're met with joy and success at every step of this journey of life. Thus, I take your leave. This is Nandana Kishore C. Naya, captain of the school, signing off. Neck deck Storsum, neck Storsum. Thank you. Thank you, Nandana, for sharing your thoughts, emotions, and experiences, some of it down the memory lane. We at Cotton's thank Nandana for her leadership and dedication in serving this institution. Nandana, we wish you the very best in your future endeavors. A father is someone you look up to no matter how tall you grow. It is with joy and delight I invite Mr. Kisho C. Nair, father of our school captain, Nandana Kisho, to come forward to share his feelings on this auspicious occasion. Good evening, everyone. I would like to thank the school for providing me this opportunity uh, to speak a few words on behalf of the parents. Truly humbled and honored. I remember that uh, as a graduating class, we had a chief guest. Uh, the, then uh, the chief minister of Goa, uh, the late Mr. Manohar Parikar, when we asked him 
what is it that we can do to change the society? He said that there are many things you could do, but most of them would be really short-term fixes. The one lasting thing that you could do is to provide, the, a pass on the best values to the next generation. And he explained this with a story. He said that his village was famous for the best watermelons anywhere in the world. In old days, the farmers, they used to get the best watermelons and give it to the kids for free. The kids would leave the seeds behind in the soil and those grew to be the sweetest watermelons. Later generations traded these for immediate gains and that variety vanished from the market. We as parents can be really proud that we have provided our children with the best education that we could. And Bishop Gordon really stands out for providing value-based education. So, <clears throat> whether it's the uh, sorry. Yeah, sorry about that. I've been, I forgot my glasses down there. I'll just try to read this. So Bishop Gordon provides really a clearly differentiated value-based education. The school, every detail in the school really stands out. If you notice the hard work and effort that goes into every little event that we have come here for, the excellence and hard works of the teachers, or whether it's any event that we have come here for, it all, the warmth and grace and the reception that we get, it truly speaks to the values of this institution. The unique KG block, which gave a joyful start to our kids. The annual days, sports days, and of course, I see, I've seen parents, grandparents really cheer the houses, and that shows the spirit of cottons in each one of us. This, the energy, the enthusiasm of the teamwork, the excellence at which everybody approaches everything at this school, and uh, we'll see that will really hold our kids in really great stead. So what I can remember clearly is that the KG kids, the babies that we led, uh, left in KG, will now be taking back strong, graceful women of substance. And one last word to the graduating class. I know you will face many challenges, you have umpteen opportunities, but re rest assured that what you've received here is the best education, the holistic value-based education will clearly stand out and make you shine and excel in whatever you choose to do. So all the best and well done. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for sharing your thoughts. I'm sure you have a lot of memories. We congratulate you on your daughter's graduation this evening. We now move on to the award ceremony. We will now have the presentation of the Captain's Cup. I request our beloved Bishop Right Reverend Dr. Prasanna Kumar Samuel to kindly come forward and do the honors. In appreciation of her exemplary duties this year, the Captain's Cup, a rolling trophy, will be received by Nandana Kishore Nair.
Thank you, Bishop. The office bearers for the year 2022-23 will officially lay down their office today. We will now have the school captain, Nandana Kishore Nair, ceremoniously hand over the school flag to the principal. That for you, ladies and gentlemen, Nandana Kishore Nair. On behalf of the staff and students, congratulations, girls. All the very best to all the students who served on the student body. Napoleon Bonaparte once said, music is what tells us that the human race is greater than we realize. Our young women with their skills and talent are setting off to see the world. We will now have choir girls of class 12 sing to us a composition titled, Off to See the World.
Thank you, girls. You sure are ready enough to see the world. A woman of substance is a woman of power, a woman of positive influence, and a woman of meaning. Today, in our midst, we have one such woman of substance, an alumni of the Bishop Cotton Girls' School, Surgeon Rear Admiral Nirmala Kannan, who will deliver the valedictory address. Right Reverend Dr. P. K. Samuel Bishop, CSI Karnataka Central Diocese, and Chairman Board of Management of the Bishop Cotton Girls School, Reverend Dr. Vincent Vinod Kumar, the Diocesan Secretary, CSI Karnataka Central Diocese, and Vice Chairman, Board of Management of the School, other members of the CSI Diocese who are present here, Principal Dr. Mrs. Lavanya Mitran, graduating students and their parents, wonderful teachers and staff of Bishop Cotton Girls School, old Catonians who are here, other dignitaries and guests. At the very outset, I wish to thank the school authorities for inviting me to witness this magnificent graduation ceremony in what is certainly the best day school for girls in India. I would also like to thank Dr. Mrs. Smithran for the warm introduction. It is indeed an honor for me, a former student who passed out over 55 years ago, to be standing on the stage and being able to share some of my thoughts with you. But before I begin, let me congratulate the school choir for all those wonderful songs that they have sung which are so befitting for this evening. As has been already mentioned, the theme for this evening is, she is strong, graceful, and a woman of substance. And the invocation song 
more power to you was indeed soul stirring and captured the essence of this theme so well thank you my dear friends for making this evening so beautiful there was also a song that said i'll always remember that certainly sent me back into a flashback mode and took me back to the year that i joined cottons it was just after the centennial and since then the sisquin centennial too has gone by telling us all about what a rich heritage this magnificent and iconic institution has my career choice of course so i joined the armed forces soon after my mbbs since my father was an army officer and posted elsewhere i never got the opportunity to come back and visit the school and visualize all the the progress it has made in other aspects other than increase in the number of buildings but i can be honest and proudly state that it has retained its glorious past and that each one of you young ladies who's graduating today will remember this iconic institution for many years and long after once a cottonian always a cottonian yes that's what the school does to you and you will realize this in your quest realize this in your quest when you go on achieving your dreams the positive emotions that the school brings about in a student is worth cherishing you are all on the verge of a transition and there couldn't have been a better song than off to see the world you are on the threshold of a new phase of your lives stepping out of a cocooned environment into a brave new world it will mean a new institution a new city perhaps new subjects and definitely new friends but there is no doubt that each one of you has reached a level of self confidence as nandana so beautifully expressed in her farewell speech and that you've attained a pragmatic outlook imbibed enough academic knowledge learned the value of punctuality and self discipline and above all the value of true friendship you need to thank all your teachers for these qualities because without them these essential traits could have never been achieved so a huge round of applause for the wonderful teachers who guided these young ladies to this stage of their lives every parent wishes that their child grows up in the right direction and becomes a responsible member of the society and a good school with dedicated teachers is the mortar and steel of this foundation so what is your journey ahead i remember that i always felt that i just couldn't wait to finish school and go to college because it meant that i would feel all grown up this is because certain restrictions get automatically lifted but remember the space that you're about to enter into has its own charms as well as challenges there is more independence more freedom no doubt less driving hope less driving force from home from your parents or from an institution therefore there could be tendencies to assign different priorities and time schedules in the last 50 years 
A vast number of new subjects have cropped up in colleges and other professional institutions. It's almost like a, a charcuterie board from which you could just pick and choose what you like. And women today are breaking the glass ceiling in other hitherto for male-dominated areas. You're also fortunate that you have technology to help you consolidate that knowledge. Everything is laid out on the table for you to pick and choose from. One doesn't have to spend endless hours in a library like we had to. And you can also study from the comfort of your home. Information is so easily available. So go ahead and imbibe as much as you can. Don't just stick to your subject. Read works of literature, history, geography. Learn about marine wealth and life. And importantly, climate change. If you are well-read and knowledgeable, you are in a position to take a stand on certain issues and be able to make a change. Therefore, read as much as you can. Become a doer, a giver. Sound professional knowledge, no doubt, is required. But if you have an all-round knowledge, it automatically makes people take you seriously. The world then sees you as a woman of substance. And you can enrich the world with your presence. You should, however, ensure that your physical health, too, gets adequate attention. Remember the old adage? All work and no play makes Jack, or in this case, Jill, a dull person. Therefore, earmark time for your own physical well-being. Only you can be responsible for your well-being. A minimum of 30 minutes to an hour in some form of exercise, be it running, jogging, cycling, swimming, yoga, or even Zumba, can get the endorphins or the happy hormones running through your veins, giving you a sense of freshness and bringing a glow to your face. I exercise every day, even now. And let me tell you, I'm in my 70th year, and I don't feel any older than what I was in school. Exercise for your body makes you strong, not only physically, but also mentally. And women need to be so. While it is all good to be very competitive at your job and aim for the top position in one's career, it is crucial that you don't forget your social graces. One doesn't necessarily have to be one of the boys to be taken seriously. Femininity is something that is in your genes. Please don't forget that. It's not a sign of weakness. You can be gentle, yet firm when it comes to that. And take it from me, someone who spent 37 years in the Indian Navy and had to deal with a lot of men and was commanding officer of two major hospitals, men and women do respect you if you are able to convey a message without losing your temper, or raising your voice. Therefore, live life with passion, fire, conviction, and purpose. Have the courage to follow your heart, as your principal said. Follow your intuition. It will automatically get translated into your persona, and the world will see you as a strong and graceful person. Don't be afraid of failure. Some failure is inevitable in everybody's life. But when you're down, you should be able to get up and dust it off 
and move on. Take on challenges by all means, because if you are afraid of taking on challenges, just because you're afraid of failure and you believe in a zero error syndrome, you will only live to regret your hesitation throughout your life. I would like to touch upon another major aspect in today's life, and that is social media. Social media can be an enabler or a huge diversion. And therefore, a healthy mix is required to help you in your mission towards achieving your goals. As you go through life, be open to other people's ideas, which at times may be much better than yours. Learn the art of listening, because you could be inspired by someone else's thoughts. Therefore, collaborate with your friends and spend time with them. You don't necessarily have to follow what everybody else is doing. Leadership belongs only to those who take it, as Principal Mithrin did mention in a quote from Steve Jobs. In other words, leadership belongs and starts with you. Social media can take up a lot of your time in your lives, sometimes at the cost of bonding with your own family. Therefore, don't forget that verbal communication with family members and spending quality time is also very important. Most of us live in nuclear families, so it is very important to spend time with your parents and elders. The law of nature is such that we all have to grow old. So do remember, young ladies, that you too will go through similar situations that many senior citizens experience. Therefore, do take time out from your daily routine to spend a few minutes or hours with the elders in your family. You may not have to spend on them monetarily. Just a kind word is more than enough to make them happy. Therefore, make the change and be that change. Become a person of substance because, after all, isn't that someone who adds value to this world through good thought or deed? So when I look back at the social environment in the last 50 years and the setup now, I can frankly say that life was so much slower, there were less distractions, and the explosion of knowledge was not so rapid. This is because communication in all forms has been speedier, and people get instant gratification due to its response. You have it all, so use it to your advantage. Your parents will always remain your most trusted advisors, though they may at times seem technologically handicapped. Forgive them for that. When you leave today, you can look back at this wonderful phase of school life with a great deal of pride. What you have accomplished will help you script your own story. So use it to your advantage. Be original in what you do. There is no room for mediocrity in this world today. You have to stand out from the crowd. It'll give you a feeling that you have lived your life well. I'm so happy that I could share some of these aspects to guide you as you venture into an important phase of your life. May the lamp of wisdom guide you always. And remember our school motto, neck dextrosum, neck sinistrosum. On, Catonians, on. Jai Hind. Thank you very much, ma'am, for instilling in our girls the importance and need 
of holistic development. I'm sure your advice will go a long way in making them strong and graceful women of substance. Thank you once again. To quote Martin Luther, next to the word of God, the noble art of music is the greatest treasure in the world. We now have the school choir sing to us the song titled, I Can Only Imagine. Thank you, choir, for that beautiful rendition. A revered man of great faith, 
the driving force of all ministerial initiatives of the Karnataka Central Diocese and a perennial font of inspiration for many. It is my honor to call on state Right Reverend Dr. Prasanna Kumar Samuel, Bishop Church of South India, Karnataka Central Diocese, Chairman, Board of Management, to address the August gathering. Respected Chief Guest, Surgeon Rear Admiral Nirmala Kannan, for your thought-provoking thought message to the graduating class of 2023. Reverend Dr. Vincent Vinod Kumar, for your prayers, which encouraged, which was able to embrace all the motto of this institution. The members of the Executive Committee, the Management Committee, the Education Committee, the friends, parents, grandparents, well-wishers, and all the others who are gathered here this evening, and very especially the graduating class of 2023. I need to acknowledge the principal of this institution, Dr. Mrs. Lavanya Mitran, and the whole team of teaching and the non-teaching staff who made this day possible. And uh, this, also, this also has to be etched in history. For the last seven years, Bishop Gotten Girls' School has stood first in our country. And I wish you well and God's blessings for the tireless services that the teaching and the non-teaching staff do in order to inculcate those values into the minds of these young graduates. And as this theme suggests this evening, she is strong, graceful, and a woman of substance. I'm not here to give any more advices, but all that I can think of is two little illustrations, one that took place in the heavens above, the other one today in the modern world. Those two illustrations will only help us to understand why a woman is strong, graceful, and why the woman has the substance. Being a man, I'm conscious of many women here. But at the same time, I would like to appreciate the women for who they are, and very especially, uh, they are encroaching into the man's area, and they will be able to overcome uh, the man's area very soon. When God created woman, he was working late into the sixth day. So the angel of the Lord appeared to God and asked God, why are you spending so much time on her? The Lord answered, have you seen all the specifications I have to meet to shape her? The Eve. She must function in all kinds of situations, cure herself when sick, and have the ability to work 18 hours a day. She must be able to embrace several kids at the same time, have a hug that can heal anything from a bruised knee to a broken heart, and she must do all this with only two hands. The angel was impressed. Just two hands? Impossible. And this is the standard model, God said. The angel came closer and touched the woman. But the angel was disappointed and told the Lord, But you have made her so soft, Lord. How can she be so bold? How can she be so strong? The Lord said, She is soft. But I have made her strong. You can't imagine what she can endure and overcome. The angel went on to ask the Lord, can she think? 
the Lord answered, not only she can think, she can also reason, she can also negotiate. The angel touched her cheeks. Lord, it seems this creation is leaking. You have put too many burdens on her. What is it for? Asked the angel. The Lord said, tears are her way of expressing her grief, her doubts, her love, her loneliness, her suffering, and her pride. This made a big impression on the angel. Lord, you are a genius, God. You thought of everything a woman is in need. It's a marvelous creation, the angel said. The Lord agreed and said, truly she is. She has the strength to amaze a man. She has handled trouble and carry heavy burdens. She holds happiness, love, and opinions. She fights for what she believes. The angel replied, so she is a perfect being because she is strong, graceful, and a woman of substance. A woman of substance has the courage to overcome tough times and pursue her goals because she stands up for what she believes in and never gives up on her values and the virtues. Today in the modern world, we think of the valuables. What valuables you can give to your doctors. But the school thinks of the values that we need to give. The second illustration is a very familiar illustration taken from Mala's story demonstrates heroism and tremendous strength in the face of impossible odds. This is a book written by Malala Yosef Zai. One child, one teacher, one pen, and one book can change the world. Malala says that human beings don't realize the importance of something till it is taken away from them. It was when she was denied education when she realized the importance of it. Even though the Taliban threatened her, she went to school. Malala is a girl who always stood for what she believed in. She never gave up. She once said that instead of waiting for the government or the militants to help them, she decided to resolve and determination of young Malala have inspired and continue to motivate many people around the world. It was this child, the one teacher, that one pen, and that one book. Despite her many achievements, awards, and fame, she is the youngest person ever to win a Nobel Prize. Malala always speaks and acts with kindness, grace, and humility. We should try to replicate the same. My dear young graduates this evening, as an institution, we wish you well and wish you God's blessings. God has created you in his own hands because you are unique, because you are strong, because you are graceful. And we, in this institution, has given you the substance that anything that might happen in your life, you will be able to be the overcomers. There has been a great deal by our chief guest talking about the digital world. It is only wish and prayer that the digital will, world will not devour you, will not suck you into this, but you will be the overcomers because we have taught you the discretion, the balancing, and how you need to spend your valuable time for a better tomorrow because you are the girl, the woman who has the substance because you are strong. We made you, we equipped you, and these teachers have given you all that is required so, we, so that you'll be able to enter into this world as a person to bring about the change. God bless you, and we wish you well. And we always remember the sacrifices your parents and grandparents have made who have always been cooperative with the management in whatever we have done. I'm sure God will bless you and you'll be able to spend that quality time with the elderly, those poor, and those of them who need your time, talent, and resources. 
because it is not the degrees that really matter. It is not the head knowledge, but it is your heart knowledge that you'll be able to have a compassionate heart, a helping heart, a heart which will be able to go and help the poor and needy so that others also would be able to be helped by you. God bless you and thank you. A woman of substance can think, act, achieve, and is also someone who believes in equality. Thank you, Bishop, for such an inspiring and thought-provoking message. We are truly blessed. All students of the graduating batch will receive a memento from the school. We will have the school captain, Nandana Kishore Nair, receive her memento from the principal. That is the memento that everyone will receive, all the graduates. I would now request our principal to administer the pledge. Students, please stand. Valedictory pledge. As I stand on the brink of a new beginning, bidding farewell to the school I cherish, I promise to abide by the principles on which this great institution is founded. I shall be honest in thought, word and deed, choosing integrity over mendacity in a world of complacency and compromise. I shall hold fast to the values and ideals I have imbibed and absorbed all my years at school. In this transitory life, where change is the only constant, I shall rely on the one who is the same yesterday, today and forever. With God as my health man, and helper, I shall march on straight on, swerving neither to the right nor to the left. A true Catonian all my life, I pledge to remain neck dextrorsum, neck sinistrorsum, so help me God. Thank you, ma'am. Girls, please be seated. This day, we not only bid goodbye to our students, but also the staff of this institution. We show our love, respect, and appreciation 
for all staff who have retired and will be retiring this academic year. May I request the principal and the bishop to honor them. Miss K. Padma joined Cottons on the 1st of September, 1984, and retired on 15th November, 2023. Miss Padma worked in the administrative department in charge of boarding accounts. She was an honest and systematic worker. We next would like to honor Mrs. Helen Patrick. Mrs. Helen Patrick joined on 1st June 1999, retired on 9th January 2023. Mrs. Helen Patrick was a teacher in the junior school and has served diligently. She is known to be a God-fearing and a dedicated teacher. We next have Mrs. Madhavi Ghosh. Mrs. Madhavi Ghosh joined on 1st October 1998 and will be retiring on 19th February 2023. Mrs. Madhavi Ghosh has been teaching computer science at the ICSC level. She is known to be a meticulous worker, also one of the poised personalities in the ICSC department. Mrs. Vasugi Vishwanathan.
Mrs. Vasugi Vishwanathan joined our school on the 1st of September 1987 and will be retiring on the 10th of Feb 2023. Mrs. Vasugi served as the head of department of physical education. She is a dedicated neat teacher known for her cheerful demeanor. Mr. Karnikaraj. Mr. Karnikaraj joined Cottons on the 1st of September 1986 and retired on the 15th of October 2022. Mr. Karnikaraj was a member of the maintenance staff and was responsible for marking the field for sports for more than 30 years. He also worked as conductor on our school bus and took great care of all the girls. Mrs. Parimala Stanley. Mrs. Parimala Stanley joined on 1st March 2003 and will be retiring on 22nd May 2023. Mrs. Parimala served as lab attender in the various labs of the school. Mrs. Parimala is meticulous in her work with willingness to learn. Mr. I. Anduraj. Mr. Anduraj joined Cottons on the 1st of July 2008 and will be retiring on the 10th of March, 2023. Mr. Andaraj served as a bus driver, ferrying children to and fro from school and home each day. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Bishop. On behalf of the Catonian family, we wish all the retired and retiring staff a happy and relaxed life ahead. Thank you for your untiring services to this institution. Gratitude is not only the greatest of virtues, but the parent of all others. Now to express our thanks, I call upon the school vice captain, Shriya Sunku, to propose the vote of thanks. Shriya is an extremely loyal, dedicated student who never misses an opportunity to help others, especially her teachers. Thank you, ma'am, for those kind words. Sometimes you never know the value of a moment until it becomes a memory. Dr. Seuss. A very good, good evening to one and all present here on this momentous occasion. 
As the vice captain of this prestigious institution, I deem it a great honor and privilege to be giving my last word of thanks at Cottons. We have so much to be thankful for. 14 years spent in this life-changing campus for most of us graduating today. Graduation, the day we yearned for as middle schoolers, also the day we dreaded as high schoolers. This day not only marks the end of our glorious time at this esteemed institution, but also enlightens our path for the years to come. Firstly, I'm grateful for God for guiding us through our schooling, and especially in the last few years. On behalf of the entire graduating batch, I extend my heartfelt thanks to our chief guest, Surgeon Rear Admiral Nirmala Kannan, for taking time out to be a part of this special day with us today and, pro and delivering a thought-provoking valedictory address. Thank you, ma'am, for your presence. I would like to thank Right Reverend Dr. Dr. P.K. Samuel, Bishop CSI, Karnataka Central Diocese, and Chairman, Board of Management, board members, dignitaries, guests, parents, and everyone present here for your unremitting support that has led us here today. We have experienced so many lasts in the past few months, starting with our last first day of school and the last of every event we have celebrated with fanfare year after year. The last time we sat in class waiting for the bell to ring to make sure we got a samosa before it was over, the last time we played a match for the school, the last time we ran on this field, I could go on and on. We have experienced a last every single day of this past year, but these lasts are only full stops in the first chapter of a book called The Story of My Life. Words cannot express how grateful I am to our principal, Dr. Mrs. Lavanya Mitrin, Vice Principal, Mrs. Annie Margaret, teachers right from kindergarten to ISC for their relentless efforts in making our journey at Cottons a fruitful and memorable one. From wiping our tears in kindergarten and junior school to making sure we know how to stand on our feet, head held high in middle and high school, I thank you for all the lessons that you have taught us, lessons we have learned for exams and lessons we will remember for life. You have molded us into the people we are, we are and the people we will be as we walk out of this institution. We only hope to have made you proud today. From having our mothers scream at us to wake us up in the morning, jumping out of bed and hurriedly getting ready, stuffing our mouths with breakfast, afraid we'll, met, we'll miss the bus, and finally reaching school to get those 10 minutes of quality time to play in the sand pit during kindergarten or play soda, lemon, ginger pop on the stairs behind the auditorium in junior school before we were rushed to assembly. We have come a long way. Well, not that long. We still hit snooze on our alarms every morning and rush to school, reaching now right in time for assembly. Life at Cottons has been nothing less than special. This school has never failed us to provide, with, provide us with the best opportunities that have catalyzed our growth. The friends we have made, the people we have met, and the experiences we have had in this chapter of our lives has laid the foundation for what's to come, and this day solidifies that foundation. It's no secret that coming back to school after waking up five minutes before online classes has not been easy. But being back at school is what we truly wanted after the initial two months of the pandemic. Having had this opportunity to experience cottons one last time, unlike the previous two batches, is something we need to be so grateful for. If I had to point out one learning as vice captain, it would be that without a team, no job is fulfilled and no event is complete. I would like to thank each and one of you graduates and especially the student council for, your, for working relentlessly towards making our year back at campus as normal as it could have been. Organizing almost every event and fest 
Cottons proudly celebrates with nothing to refer back to is no mean task. You all deserve a pat on your backs. Having said that, I owe my gratitude to, the, to our maintenance department, administrative department, and all other non-teaching staff for providing the backbone at every event we have organized this year and for their tireless efforts in making sure we had the best Cotonian experience. Coming to our beloved parents, who are probably more excited than us today, thank you for each time you have consoled us after a challenging day and for encouraging us to grab every opportunity at hand and making sure that we got the best education we could have received. Thank you for fixing our saris today and making sure that our makeup is in place as we close this huge milestone in our lives. We can never thank you enough for always being our number one cheerleader. Finally, to my fellow graduates, I would like to thank you all for making this year more special than I had ever expected. As I quoted in the beginning, we never value a moment until it becomes a memory. So I ask you, look at the person sitting next to you, share a smile, think of all the memories, laughs, talks, cries you have had in this school. Think of how far you have come, entering as kids in green checkered tunics and exiting as young women in beautifully draped saris. I can confidently say that with your passion, grit, and determination, each one of you is destined for greater things. Like our theme for this year says, she is strong, graceful, and a woman of substance. Remember that you have in you what it takes to face the world. Irrespective of the number of, number of days you have spent here, this campus has prepared you for what life has in plan. In a few weeks' time, this institution will be our past but this place will forever remain our alma mater, etched with our memories. We are the future, and what's to come is for us to decide. Remember to always stay true to yourselves and work tirelessly towards your goals, turning neither to the right nor to the left, on straight on. And with this, the class of 22-23, I wish you the very best. Thank you. Thank you, Shriya, for all your efforts and contribution to the school. We at Cottons acknowledge your dedication and wish you the very best. We now move on to the lighting of the lamp. The lighting of the lamp symbolizes the absence of darkness, grief, and unhappiness. Knowledge eliminates ignorance just as light eliminates darkness. Hence, let's all stand to signify the lighting of the Lamb in reference to knowledge as the greatest of all forms of wealth. I now request our dignitaries, principal, vice principal, class teachers of standard 10 and 12 to come forward and take part in the symbolic lighting of the lamp. At this time, we have Adalia from 12 Signs sing a special song titled, Carry Your Candle.
Dahlia for singing it so beautifully. I request everyone to kindly remain standing as I invite Reverend Y. Justin, Civil Area Chairman of the Karnataka Central Diocese, to close this graduation ceremony with a prayer. A hearty congratulations to Reverend Y. Justin, who is also a parent of graduating student from Standard 12. May I also request our beloved Bishop to pronounce the benediction after the closing prayer. Let us pray. Most gracious heavenly Father, we come into your presence with the praise and thanksgiving. As Psalmist says, 
I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where does my help come? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and the earth. We adore you. We glorify you. We magnify your holy name, O Lord. Especially today, we pray that your blessing be upon the graduating class of 2023 of the Bishop Cotton Girls' School. Yet another chance to come to your presence with a sense of gratitude, remembering the good things that you poured upon our institution. Heavenly Father, we thank you for our Bishop, Right Reverend Dr. President Kumar, for his admirable leadership in our diocese, in and around this institution, O oh Lord. We want to thank you for the message that we see through him, that not the head knowledge, the heart knowledge, in order to meet the needs of the poor and the needy. Thank you, Lord, for the message that's received through our chief guest, Sir General Admiral Nirmala Kannan, for our inspiring thought for our graduate. Thank you for our Bishop Amma and our leadership among the women and bless our ministry, your master. We want to thank you for the principal, Dr. Mrs. Lavana Mitran, for our dedicated leadership for this institution. We also commit the vice principal, the teacher, staff, and the students and the parts and parcel of this institution. Give them your grace, O oh Master. On this special way, we commit, summit all the graduating students of class 2023. We thank you for the knowledge this graduate learned in the school, for the successes and the failures that have taught them how to succeed, for friendship gained, for the support of understanding, parents and teacher, for the gift of self-knowledge, Lord, give them strength to be vulnerable, the courage to care, and the wisdom to love. This special day in the life of the graduates, as we embark on the next chapter of their lives, we pray that the same hand that has kept them thus far will continue to be in their lives. May your hand of protection be about them, and may your word continue to be a light unto the path, help them to make wise decisions, and to always keep the first you in everything that they do. Lord, we want to thank you for your abiding presence throughout this graduation ceremony. Once again, we commit all the graduates in your mighty care. We ask all this thing, the wonderful name for Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. With faith and confidence, let us receive God's blessings. Unto God's gracious mercy and protection, we commit every one of you. And the blessings of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you, very especially the class of 2023, where God has created them uniquely and they are being strong, graceful, and a woman of substance whom we are sending into the world to be the change makers in the world, both now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you, Bishop. Thank you, Reverend Vai Justin. A request to all parents and guests to remain in their seats and honor all our graduating girls as they proceed out. Also requesting teachers from all departments, kindergarten to IC department, to stand along the aisle.
we will now have our principal, bishop, chief guest, and other dignitaries proceed out. Parents, please remain in your places. Please do not obstruct movement. <laughs> 